Hey, welcome to my warehouse. I am Blake. This video is four tips that the gurus are not telling you about retail arbitrage in Q4. You may have heard them offer their courses uh, where they take your money first and waste your time later. Well, lucky here on my channel, we don't do either. Let's get into it. But first, while you're here, please like the video. I make money off ads, not cheap and easily reproducible courses. Tip number one is to stay away from clothing and shoes and anything with a size, really. I made a video a few days ago about clothing on eBay and how bad it is. Now, I'm not so harsh on clothing on Amazon FBA or shoes or whatever, but during Q4, personally, I think it's a very bad idea. Why? Well, a recent poll from Bodyblock, a company who does sizing stuff online, showed that 50% of clothing, all of it that's purchased, gets returned. And that number is only going to go up during Q4. Why? Because they're gifts. Selling clothes online on Amazon is not bad if they're new. It's a good idea, but during Q4, if you're doing retail arbitrage, I would spend my money elsewhere. Tip number two is look for Amazon sellouts. What are Amazon sellouts? I think I might be the first person to coin this term, but I like it, so I'm going with it. An Amazon sellout is when Amazon is a vendor and they, they sell out. And so what does that mean? That means the buy box goes from a very low price that Amazon negotiated with the supplier to whatever price is the next highest. Now during Q4, when some of these items are in extremely high demand, that next price from an FBA seller or even a merchant fulfilled seller might be three, four, five times more. The example I used a few weeks ago was TI, X IIS calculators, uh, when school started, Amazon sold them for $9. Once they sold out and they did sell out, uh, you could sell them. I sold them for up to $20. This happens all the time, but in Q4, not going to be calculators. I mean, probably not. It might be most likely it will be toys, toys. I know, right? Think about uh, millennial monopoly. Think about things uh, that are in demand now, high, high, high demand that Amazon might not possibly be able to meet the demand for. So you can go to Walmart, buy it there, list it, even merchant fulfilled, and still make a lot of money. Tip number three is to go back in time. See what sold this summer. See what sold last Q4. See what sold two years ago in Q4. Why? Because they may be discontinued. And if it's discontinued, if Amazon is no longer buying them, the chance for prices to go up is very, very good. It's a common misconception that Walmart always takes away their discontinued products. They don't. Sometimes they stay on the shelves. And if they are discontinued, that means Amazon can no longer buy them new. What that creates then is a free market, baby. Uh, demand and supply, that's all we care about. And as we navigate those two forces, we can find profit in between. Okay, we are now at tip four, but wait, at the end of the video, we have a bonus tip, I know, right? So stick around, because you're not gonna wanna miss that. Tip number four is make sure you have cash. This might sound kinda dumb, but hear me out. Amazon in Q4 is a speed game. You buy fast, you sell fast, you buy faster, you sell faster, you make more money. I mean, things are flying off the proverbial shelves at Amazon headquarters. How do you have more money though? Well, you can't rob a bank. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but there are ways around it. The only issue is they cost money. Cost money to get money. You gotta spend money to make money. It's an adage you've all heard. Payability is who I have used in the past. What they do is they forward you your money uh, from the, the day's sales, the previous day's sales. Here's the kicker though, you pay 2%. Not the best, but is it better to have that money now and to invest it the next day or to wait two weeks to spend it? Only you know. But if you think payability is better, I have a link below and all new signups get $250 for free. Now you got to qualify, but if you do, you get some money put into your account right away. When you're spending money to make money, if you're using payability, if you have a, a loan from Amazon or whatever it is, there's tons of way to do this. It's not just payability. What you want to make sure that your margins are fat. If you get an item returned, then you're out the 2% and the cost of the item. That's very, very bad. How do you do that? Well, in my opinion, I make sure all my items have an ROI of two or three times more. So if I buy it for 10 bucks, I got to make 20 to 30 bucks. That might give me some high standards, but it keeps me from swinging out and striking, from striking and swinging out. 
Thank you for watching. And remember, please join the Facebook group. It's free. I like helping people. And so do the folks there. And also subscribe to my channel. But wait, I said there'd be a bonus tip. And what's that bonus tip? The bonus tip is to use the Payability Seller's Card. What, am I just shilling for Payability? No, I'm not. I have used all of these products. And here's the thing about the Payability Seller Card. No daily transfers. The money just sits there and, listen to this, you get 2% cash back. That goes a long way to offset the 2% fee that you're being charged. I'm not a, a mathematician, but you can do the rest. See you guys later, and remember, Make some money and don't be a shithead.